I received uh, an email last couple of days ago, and um, the email said, what is the final? I imagine that was in reference to the midterm cried sheet. Uh, my answer would be very simple. And the final is all about yourself. I'll give you a few uh, hints, a few perhaps loopholes. I don't want to say the final is a paper. I refer to it as project. It could be mineral, vegetable, anything goes with me. Um, if you do write, make it short. <laughs> and the, or if you write or do a project, or do it more or less in the spirit I have been addressing you these nights. And it's up to you to interpret what that spirit is. Also, I'll give bonus points double coupons if you submit your projects before the deadline. Deadline is uh, the last day of school. I don't want to receive projects from Minnesota someplace. It's, uh, let's do it. Last day of school is the end, and that's it. And no matter what you submit, writing or not writing, um, if it is written, I don't want to read handwriting unless it's a love letter. That's different. I don't want to receive love letters via email. Uh, also, I don't look kindly on misspelled words. I'm a foreigner. I have to learn this language word per word. It's not easy. And um, an English language is, it is a little bit stupid. It's almost as stupid as French. <laughs> On the other hand, I think French is more stupid than English. <laughs> For example, in English, the verbs can kill you. I buy, I bought, I would buy, I should buy, I, sh I should have never bought it, I sh should have stolen it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's very confusing, the, the verbs. It's very complex. And uh, also, if anybody wants to do some research, you'll get double coupons. Find the most interesting PhD titles of bot professors. <laughs> Those who have PhD. I'm clean, so you don't have to worry about me. But it would be very interesting to see what the hell they really studied. And uh, I know students at BART are smart, very smart. They will do almost anything not to do anything. In the past, I had received papers submitted to different other professors, like how to save the whale with other professors' markings in the grade. <laughs> they thought they were fooling me. Of course, they, they were trying to fool me, but uh, it was not funny. And um, I smell these things normally. It's like movies. I smell by their titles. For example, would you ever go to see a movie called Under the Yum Yum Tree? <laughs> you smell these things. You, you stay away from it. And. Uh, uh, <sighs> Also, you could write um, a page uh, review or critique of a film you have never seen. <laughs> or give me a couple pages from your diary. It doesn't have to be a real one, because I'll never know if it's real or not. You could invent it. Or write about your most embarrassing moment in life. I got those papers. Very, very interesting. Or you could write to me, and this, uh, what's wrong with Bard? Or what's good with Bard? And uh, normally, I s s Xerox these, and uh, taking the names off, I submit them to the president's office. Uh, I had never received a reply. 
from the president. So these are your escape clauses. Uh, so, and this, this is my charge to you, and um, you interpret it any way you want. What I'll be looking for would be sincerity, imagination, um, originality. In the past, my office is full of relics from the past in the magic classes. Uh, one of my uh, <laughs> favorite was a box delivered, I found it outside the door one morning, big box that contained an object uh, identifying every film I showed in the class. I just want to show you two of them. Uh, that, that this is just a small collection. Of course, this was from the, uh, you know, the, in a sense, unprotected steel. And uh, then we showed this uh, movie, Hold Me While, While I'm Naked. So this was left <laughs> with, the, with the name on it, Hold Me While I'm Naked. And it was very imaginative. That's a straight A, of course. Uh, uh, I'll make it short here since the movie is long. And, um, but you must submit something. Uh, I have to give you a grade on your imagination or on your wisdom. My colleagues, professor's colleagues say, it is impossible to fail in a magic class. But some people have failed. They can't believe that I would ever fail somebody. So don't try me. <laughs> it's fun for me. Uh, remember uh, a couple of years, uh, maybe years, seems like years, time goes here. I passed this one sheet of story about Bonnie and Clyde, uh, written by using movie titles only. You read that. Uh, there were poems written by using movie titles only without any connecting words in between. And um, uh, I would like for you to hear three of these poems, two very short haikus, and another is a little bit longer. And I'm going to invite GJ to read them for you. All right. Uh, stand in front of the mic. Or you could lift it up. You are three feet taller than I. <laughs> <clears throat> Seems like old times. Teeny, weeny, polka dot bikini. <laughs> little darlings. Beach party bingo. A little romance. Lifeguard. An unmarried woman. 200 motels. A change of seasons gone with the wind. That's that one. <laughs> Silk stockings, breakfast at Tiffany's, weekend in Havana, that touch of mink, bread, and chocolate. Diamonds are forever flying down to Rio Divorce, American style. <laughs> <clears throat> Hiroshima, mon amour, atomic city. Where are your children? They ran for their lives. They wanted peace. Gone are the days of love and desire, of love and shadows gone in 60 seconds. No time to be young, Japanese war bride. At the end of a perfect day, quiet street. They all kissed the bride. They all laughed. The night is young, tender hearts. While you were sleeping, thunder in the east. Something wicked this way comes. Captain Nuke and the bomber boys, silent assassins flying high. The flying serpent, weapon of war, mission to glory, mission kill. Death from a distance just before dawn. Morning star, harbor lights, purple dawn on the black hill. The tea house of the August moon. The song of the birds waking up the town. The quiet earth, quiet thunder, 
Life begins, her unborn child. Don't cry, it's only thunder. The final hour, zero hour. Flame of the West, Tokyo blackout. Hold back the dawn, savage down. Two before zero, one minute to zero. Dark August at ground zero. A flash of light, a ball of fire, red heat. Heaven help us, oh God. Fire in the sky, run if you can, run for cover. Run behind office doors, no escape. None shall escape, the city goes wild under burning skies, the sheltering sky. Torn apart, red rain. That fatal witness exposed, too scared to scream. Fire stole, burn, burning the wind, wild as the wind, burning life. <laughs> Silence, dead calm, a quiet street, walk into hell. Silence, the bride's silence on the third day, death in small doses. Hiroshima, mon amour, silent witness. What have they done to your daughters? Where are your children? They wanted peace. They won't forget. <laughs> so, so if any one of you would like to try a poem, you're welcome to it. But uh, it might sound easy, but it is not easy. And if you do submit a poem of movie titles, you will be judged as a poetry, not as a joke. This is a good example. This is one of the best, <laughs> what you heard, and uh, tells a story, and no connecting words. So we heard the uh, edit PF here as you came in, and um, then Bruce Bailey's beautiful rose hedge there. It was what's known technically as in cinemascope. One this way, two this way. The ratio of the image. The human condition is going to be that size. So those of you who have small eyes should sit front or back, I don't know. It depends on your eyes. Uh, you figure that one out. Uh, and, uh, so. We are very close now to the human condition. It's only one week, seven days, ground zero. <laughs> I hope you have been conditioning yourselves and you are in a good condition to sit here all night, 12 hours, no breaks. It's all about suffering. Uh, I know you have been working towards this, and um, we all worked, and uh, this, is, this is our own condition, our human condition. We'll be facing it bravely, and you will never forget the name of the man who made the film, Masaki Kobayashi. I'll remind you of that name several times. Uh, after you have seen this movie next week, you will stop complaining about food at Bard, about living conditions at Bard. Life will look beautiful to you at Bard. And suffering will be part of your existence. Tonight you will see the Gospel according to St. Matthew by Pier pa Paolo Pasolini. Uh, you remember Captain Blood? It seems like months and months ago it was deep snow. We looked at it. And it was um, a film made by the good standards of Hollywood. Love, Kiss, and the final glorious music, embrace, everything's clean and nice, star-studded movie. Pasolini is telling a story very differently. He didn't have stars, studios, publicity agents, glossy pictures, 
to promote his film. He had no orchestra to underscore the scenes. He was stealing music from everywhere he could, from Prokofiev to American spirituals, and uh, you will see. And uh, also, when you will see tears on the screen, these are real tears, you'll see. They're not makeup, dazzling, artificial wetness on the face. And there's a very powerful scene towards the end. Just to go back a moment, I was walking on campus today and two students behind me they didn't recognize me somehow. They said, oh, Adolphus is showing a Bible movie tonight. I think I'm going to skip it. So they'll come in, sign in, and go, because you will never know I wasn't here. <laughs> um, so I'm sure he's not here. Uh, this is a Bible movie, but you have never seen anything like this. You have never seen. And you will never see it again. So some scenes look like the footage smuggled out of California, police attacks on Rodney, or footage from Bosnia, or Kosovo, or Guatemala, police brutality documented. You will not see Sunday school Jesus Christ here, kissing babies, blue eye, Jesus Christ, Presbyterian. You will not see one like that. Today, movies are made by agents and hairdressers and money hustlers, and uh, <sighs> but very rarely a movie made uh, by an artist, a filmmaker artist. Pasolini was a poet, was a journalist before, he was a revolutionary before he became a filmmaker. And he represents, historically, the cinema of intelligence. He could speak and write, and he did write intelligently and uh, about cinema, poetry, theater, music. He was very well educated. Marxist, communist, Italiano. Uh, of course, Pasolini, and the, for this film, had a very good script. The scriptwriter was, um, as you know, Saint Matthew. He told the story, and the dialogue writer, I think any filmmaker <laughs> could wish to have. Jesus Christ through the dialogue. Imagine on the marquee, story by St. Matthew, dialogue by Jesus Christ. We could play Radio City for months and weeks and years. That, that would be great credits. Actually, it's a very good script. It's a very good story. Um, over the weekend, I, I showed this movie in every cinematic class, and I do uh, my own penance here. I read, I read again St. Matthew's Gospel uh, over the weekend. Uh, and it is a good story. Uh, I love the dialogue. I would change the ending a li little bit in the story, but I would, wouldn't touch the time dialogue at all here. Uh, Pasolini didn't use actors. He was in Madrid and he met, he was gay. Uh, so he met this young philosophy student, Spanish. He didn't speak Italian or Jewish. And he cast him as uh, Jesus. Uh, uh, the rest of the people you'll see in the film, these were his friends, poets, writers. Even his own mother appears in it and mostly the villagers 
uh, in Calabria where the film was shot. It looks like Jerusalem. Uh, so Pier Paolo Pasolini, a great filmmaker, was walking one night in Rome and he was attacked by punks and killed in the street just for being gay. And then one of them rode a truck over his dead body back and forth until the body was broken up to pieces. So that was Pasolini's crucifixion. Today this film is in Vatican's 12 most spiritual films ever made. The film is long, so I'm going to cut it short right now. And um, before I forget, I wish you all uh, happy Easter and uh, joyous Passover Seder, those who celebrate these things. So in the spirit of uh, the events in the film, um, my Hebrew being zero, I'll speak in Latin. Uh, you all know Latin since you are in the institution of higher education, so uh, next week I might even conduct my class in Latin. Quit quid agis, prudenter, agas, e res vesefinem. Il si vediamo, il Vangelo, secondo Matteo, Ivanos, or can you voltare? Grazie. That's what I said, Ivanus. Or, or can you? 